Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with a Great War. More last time around we had the desperate defense of Odessa, but we were actually able to hold off the Reds and send them off with only a cannon surviving. So for now Odessa stands free of the Red Menace. What we have today is, you know, last time I contemplated we've got an attack going on here. And then we also have our um, roundabout attack as we retreated and now going in for a counter-attack at the British over here. Those were the ones that I was uh, contemplating last time around. But I also have another thing which I kind of forgot to do. So if we go to the south coast of France, they have relinquished any navy to hold this army that was placed in this port right here in Genoa. Um, no one actually guards that anymore and I do have a ship and I do have an army so why don't I go ahead and bring that around to drop off my army here so the Duke of Württemberg has now landed here wonderful now obviously that won't come into a battle but that will next turn be a battle where we'll take out the French earlier than we thought because I thought uh, mistakenly thought that I would have to wait for the um, Crown Prince of Bavaria to replenish his army and then be sent over but I of course had the Duke of Württemberg ready to send forth with that I'm thinking we're gonna deal with the Russians first. So, um, what I have in plan is we're gonna take Mackinson's army, we're gonna move up along the railway line. We're not gonna move into range. I'm gonna move these guys across first. So, I wanna start by. Let's see if we. I think if they intercept me as I move. Oh, they didn't actually. They did not intercept me as I moved across. That's pretty good actually. That means the Mackinson can attack. Oh, they pull back. I think what we'll do is we'll have Mackinson advance first in case he gets intercepted, which he does. Why am I not getting reinforced by my tanks? Why am I not getting reinforced? We just intercepted, there's no ambush or anything. We're gonna pull back. I want the tanks to be part of this battle. Now we're stuck in the snow, receiving, um, damn, I should have probably gone ahead and like loaded a few saves and planned out how I was going to do that. I don't know why in the intercept I wasn't, it would have been fine, I just want to be reinforced by the tanks because I want to put tanks in the battle. We have no move with Mackinson now. You can move forward, but I'm guessing you get intercepted and Mackinson won't support you. We'll try. Oh. Now he's not within... He's within range! That was kind of foolish. I probably should have put myself more here. But, yeah, Mackinson will... Reinforce us and we got the battle that I wanted Just not in the order that I wanted. I didn't want the tanks to lead the attack But I think that's might be better actually just because the tanks are so slow and the battle would have possibly been over before they would have joined the fight Now the bad thing here is they've got plenty of cannons to bombard the tanks as they move forward into attack and they might just get destroyed before they even reach the enemy line. But let's not contemplate on this right now. We'll only know once we actually hit the snow and we'll advance on the enemy. So without further ado, let's do just that. Hopefully, Mackinson will arrive as soon as possible because I don't know how long the tanks and the infantry on their own will hold out against the enemy attack. Um, we're gonna move forward here towards the uh, Reds headquarters, which seems to be around this house, as they've got most of their artillery there. They do have one over here, but 
but uh, I think this is the best area for tanks to move forward through, rather through here. And especially the closer we get to the artillery, hopefully we'll be able to maybe even drive underneath their arc of fire. Um, place the special unit, the flamethrower, over here. General is going to go ahead and rally inspire troops, but then I'm going to send him to leave, just because I need more of Mackinson's infantry to come into the battle. With that said, let's go ahead and start. We're going to go ahead and do that, and then inspire, and then... Oh, all tanks are already within range to fire. Let's have them fire a single shot first, each tank. Go ahead, please fire. Right, they'll do an initial initial barrage against the enemy, and then we're gonna move forward. Okay, so did we destroy anything? Mm, no, we uh, we did destroy their ability to move their artillery, but that's about it. Hopefully they'll be focusing on my infantry. Right, General, you need to leave. At the same time, we've got some of Mackinson's troops coming in. His cavalry is ready to move into action. We're going to have them set to uh, kill off this General over here. But also I set the cavalry to come in first because I needed their... Like, if I need extra infantry support, I'm going to need it quick as... Oh, shit. We've got cavalry coming in. I was hoping the uh, flamethrowers for, would live for a little bit longer than uh, this. Might be, though, that the flames can fire as they fire kind of in an arc. Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, it kind of looks like I can be able to fire in an arc and uh, get them that way. Because my cavalry is coming under a bit of attack. They only have one unit over here. So I should be able to move these rather quickly into position. Mackinson's heavy artillery setting up over there. We got the flames. Yeah, they are actually firing. Firing in an arc above here, actually being able to hit the cavalry and burn them to a crisp. Hold there and continue to fire. Tanks have lined up and are firing all across. Thing about it is the enemy almost always goes for a charge when it comes to... Uh, Dealing with, um, you know what, I'll uh, dismount you here to get better shots off. They almost always charge the tanks, so that's why it's good to have a barrier of infantry ahead of that. The flames are working, the flames are working. Let's get them closer to the fight. Keep burning the enemy. Soviets are making a charge. I failed. Their infantry is firing on my flame troops. But using the ground cleverly, I'm able to avoid most of that. Let's go ahead and see how it goes here. I was able to charge the general unit. And looks like I'm able to shoot down this unit as well. So that's good. Oh shit, that's the um, that's the enemy's reinforcement army. Oh shit, it's coming in behind us. That's not great news. That's not great news at all. Let's see if I can get the flames closer here so they can actually aid in this. Um, I was going to send the cavalry around here, but there's tons of enemy cavalry there. So I think instead... What is this weird square? No idea. Wait, what is it? Hmm. Supposed to be a house, maybe? Let's get our cavalry in order. Get them around and come to kind of try and block over there. Flamethrower unit. 
doesn't reach that enemy infantry. If you move back a little bit and to the side, maybe that will work. Oh shit, they're coming really close here. At least we're holding off the enemy general. Oh no, cavalry! That's coming way too close. Try to retreat back here then. Are you shooting down this guy or what are you doing? Let's see, my heavy artillery is just about to come into position. Mounted cavalry... Mounted cavalry? Mounted infantry moving around. You know what? Here. Set up. Flame them. Enemy cavalry is moving around. We have killed their general, sir. Nice. Oh, we're so close to each other here. I will call a charge. Heavy artillery needs to be set here to support. You know what I can do? One of the cavalry units can actually set up, take position in the house. To open up extra position for flanking against the enemy. My infantry was kind of successful in their charge, but not at the same time, not really. The flame unit successfully killed these guys. So it actually worked out pretty well. Oh, there's a massive charge of Soviet troops. I definitely want to get my flame unit in on this, breaking up this. I think I'm gonna focus my heavy artillery out here for now. Does my heavy artillery reach? No, it doesn't. Dismount and join the fight out here. Infantry move closer to the tanks. And then I'm gonna set the flames to fire on the Red Army Rifles over there. So they lost three in their group. But I think this will tear through them pretty viciously. And we'll have uh, quite good success with that. Move into the house. All of Mackinson's infantry should hurry as soon as possible get into fight here firing up the flank really our best option cavalry hopefully gone pretty darn soon ooh nice flame I wanna get maybe even firing on this one What happened to the unit that charged? Well, got that, that one got completely destroyed, or what happened? Setting up from the house. I want you to kind of take positions on this side of the house. So you can actually shoot some of these. Oh, perfect flank up on this unit. You should have just held your position and fired from there. I don't know why you felt you needed to run to the side. Oh, and now they're turning. Great. So we're holding on here. There's only three cavalrymen. Move forward. Let's see if we can't get some shots fired off onto this. Also, a heavy artillery. Probably need to move it so I can target this area as well. Flames absolutely blasting through the Bolshevik units here. They stand no chance whatsoever as they move through. Keep it up. Why am I I'm not sure my tanks are firing. Or maybe they are. It's kind of hard to tell. We need Mackinson's troops to get a move on a lot of my original troops soon out of ammo. Oh no, 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 no. You're not charging my flamethrowers. 
That's a single soldier. Why haven't you shot him yet? Turn around and deal with him. We're just out of range here to fire on these. Don't like the look of that. Flame troopers. Definitely need more infantry here so that I can deal with all of this. Because the house is no longer really useful for us. We'll leave it and then move to take up better positions. Where are you going? Halt immediately. They're all gathering up in such a cluster over here. I think if I can get my flamethrowers to fire on that, that's going to be absolute destruction. Can I get every single one of my tanks to target that cavalry unit? And then heavy artillery blast this. We have two machine guns. No way they're going to be able to get into the fight, but I'll set them on a course towards uh, victory. Let's have two infantry moving forwards to here, and then these three should be moving to over here. It's very much down to like the last shots here. The sitting shooting at each other. Has any of my tanks actually been destroyed? I don't think so. Actually this one this one has been destroyed. The tracks have come off it. Okay, the flame unit is among these troops. They're kind of breaking up. Let's see if we can move forward here. There's a risk. But I'm willing to take it for epic fire going through my enemy. One of our units has used all its oh ammunition, shit, which one is that? These, 62. Charge through. Okay, you're within range. Start flaming. Start flaming the enemy! Oh, you're getting shot at. They might not hold for too long. That's what I want to see. Flame shots going through these guys. And they're kind of continuing on this path. And we're going to be able to shoot them up the flank, which will be good. 62, charge over here. Oh, they're charging my tanks over here. We can't let them do that. Mount up. And then all this infantry needs to get through to aid over here. What a mess going on here. My unit's getting charged. I'm just gonna shoot flames up the side here. There is nothing for it, unfortunately. Oh. Shoot up the cavalry unit. Oh, they, um, for some reason, moved away from this uh, rifle unit. And it's kind of able to hold its position just for the cavalry to counter charge. All the units are gone here. Fire into the middle of everything if you can. Give me one more shot. The cavalry is just moving through. Give me one more shot. There's two, there's one guy. In the middle of all this cavalry riding around. Just fire, damn you! Fire! Yes! Get one more shot in there! Oh no, he was killed. Can I get my tanks to reorganize a little bit? Oh, we've got some that have been... Uh, 
dismounted as you were. You should still be able to move. And then we have two here. And we have two here. And then this one's been dismounted. You guys need... To oh shit, there's so many of them are not coming straight at us. Push back, we need to set up better positions. That's way too much. Heavy artillery, blast them over here. Move, 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 move. I need more troops. Where's the machine guns? We've got assault pioneers coming in. Not really what I need. You guys need to go. So I can get better reinforcements. Set up. Hurry. The cavalry is seconds away from charging you guys. Stop the cavalry. Oh, there's a massive charge going in over there. Where's my cavalry? I need to help stop them over there. Just turn around and open fire. Our men are running. We still have some of the tanks back here firing into this mess. Cavalry's join my cavalry is joining in. More so to shoot the enemy than to um, charge. What a mess. What a mess. Leave the field immediately. Can I get some heavy artillery support? Would you look at this? Our men are running okay, we've killed off that cavalry unit. There's another one over there. Some of the infantry is uh, able to set up. They continuously are sending up nasty cavalry units at me. Can we kind of pull back, guys? Can we kind of pull back and set up? The men of the teeth, sir, must rest a while. I'm getting completely overrun here. As much as it looks bad for me, I think it's even worse for the Bolsheviks, or the Russians. Just because... I mean, I lost a lot of troops in that attack. Imagine how many they have lost trying to attack me. The machine guns might actually come just in time. The thing though is... I can't really retreat back because then I leave the tanks to get destroyed. They can rest when they're dead, unfortunately. Right. We've got the elite infantry coming in to support. The guys are holding the ridge. We've got tank support. I want to blast that cavalry. The infantry seem to being held off. Oh, this mounted cavalry got utterly destroyed. There isn't much left of this position. We might want to try and move back, actually. We've got three tanks left. And barely any infantry. Pull back, guys. And we'll try to set up some kind of defense back here around the uh, around the machine guns heavy fighting troops moving back with the few tanks that are actually operational we got so many tank carcasses lining the sides here at the same time, we got so many enemy troops and so many of our troops just spread around the field, literally everywhere. We've got more reinforcements coming in and my heavy artillery is blasting them every step of the way. Machine guns will 
hold fire to start off with. There's no point in having them uh, gun down our own troops. Looks like it's just a single tank that's going to be able to be able to get away. Actually, this is crew of a tank. They, I guess, they drop accidentally dropped it. No, all the tanks got destroyed. That's what happened. Then you can leave. The cavalry is coming too close. Unfortunately, we might be shooting up our own troops, but there's not much I can do. The enemy is just coming too close here. So I'm going to open up with the machine guns. One tank is able to make it out. All the infantry that can get out should get out. All these small shots they're landing everywhere, is that rifle grenadiers? Or is that just... Our men are running for I'm not sure. My position doesn't actually look that hot, is it? Finnish Jaegers is one of, one of the last units in Mackensen's army. However, any red army troops that get over the any red army troops that get over to the ridge is going to get absolutely peppered by my machine guns. Infantry gains some ground there. We got the infantry gaining ground here and these guys retreating. Heavy concentration of enemy troops in the back. We'll blast them before they even get close to us. Machine guns. Tearing up the enemy. Bolsheviks doing their best. They're renewing their effort to take the ridge. But it will be for nothing, as my troops will be cutting them up. These guys moving on an angle to us will be able to pepper them up through the flank. And that will be just absolutely perfect in terms of the damage we can do on them. Uh, enemy still has some artillery that is functioning. I'm gonna need to blast them. Before we can achieve victory here. Keep it up. We've got an additional three units. Ready to join the fight. But that's about it. These need to move forward. So they can actually join the fight. Okay, that part is gone. I need my heavy artillery to blast through the line here so we can actually advance on them. Keep it up. This was a lot bloodier battle than I thought. Oh, now the last unit came onto the field. Mackinson himself has realized that the fight is so blood. Where's my one tank? Oh, it's... Ah, oh, the ones there. That was just a crew. Because everyone... The, all the tanks were destroyed. Move forward. Everyone's super tired at this point. Are they making a push here? What's this? Oh yeah! I do still have a tank. What's he doing? Hold. Oh. Can 
you guys just, like... I don't know what they're doing. We'll leave them to it. Whatever it is they're trying to do. Heavy artillery needs to be moved forward so that we can shell the enemy's artillery position. Extra troops have arrived just in time here. There's basically nothing of the enemy left. Machine guns will hold their fire so the infantry can come in and finalize this. We got the Finnish Jaegers moving in. All we have left is some Red Army units over there. Get the artillery forward. We're gonna blast the position way back here. Let's see. Let's end it today. Let's move forward. I told the machine guns not to fire. I guess I was mistaken. Let's reclaim the ridge and reclaim all our broken tanks. Let's see, does the heavy artillery reach? Mm, not just yet. Soon enough they will. Troops setting up. Shooting down the Red Army riflemen. Okay, so all I, all that's really needed now is for my heavy artillery to come into range of uh, these last bits. And then I can soften it up before the very tired infantry at this point make their move towards... Uh, you know what? They should be already be pushing. This crew has been running about. Let's see if you can actually claim a tank. Let's see. Oh, you are within range? Deploy. And then you'll deploy right beside it. Only nine men left. Move through. Let's have Mackinson inspire them. Target the one in the back. You'll target the infantry unit. Mackinson will rally and inspire. Single guy left, and now there's no one. Everyone should be moving forward towards their last position. Really what is stopping us to uh, move through would actually be the infantry unit. So maybe it's better to fire on that instead. Someone need to be detached to deal with him. And then you will be set up along there. With you continuing through the woods to attack the enemy. The men of the are a must rest away. No, the battle is just about to be over. Charge through, work through the pain. Ridge, that should be fine. What are we waiting for? Keep pushing. I speed it up a little bit. The men of fatigue. It is after all the very end of the battle here. Absolutely crushing it as these guys 
have decided to deploy in the absolute worst way against the uh, lines here. Increase the barrage. And now an additional three units have come to set up a fire on this. We have won the battle, but at a very heavy cost. I don't even know we'll be able to push into St. Petersburg and take it after this. There definitely won't be a lot of Red Army units left after this. They're leaving. With two guys that wanna... God knows what they're trying to do. What's going on here? Why haven't you shot that one man? Yet. That's landing right next to him. Why no one wants to shoot him? There's a single guy left. They're giving him an opportunity to leave. But seemingly he doesn't want to take it. And there he died. And then these guys are about to stab the last soldier here. Maybe. And there we go. It was finalized victory. Did he teabag him just before he died? <laughs> or just after he died? It wasn't over his head, it was over his feet, but still. There we have it. Close victory. Here's the result of that battle. Troops deployed on our side, 3,775, where which 2,700 were lost, leaving about 1,000 men left on our side. The Bolsheviks were able to drum up 6,600 men, where of which... 6,595 were killed, leaving only 9 men left. We can see here from uh, Herring's army that 3 infantry units survived, together with the general, but he left, of course, right at the start. And then for Mackensen's army, we can see that the 2 cavalry units were destroyed in the fight, and it looks like also a uh, infantry unit has been lost on Mackinson's side but um, I want to see where the fla flamethrower, here he is, flamethrower 12 men, they killed 353 the thing is here I'm gonna add on I think um, like another part, like another part of the battle because this battle of course was so intense with tanks and flamethrowers that the first attempt crashed, and I'm gonna show the first attempt just because that one was so much cooler, and I think the flame unit probably achieved like 600 kills or something like that in that version, and it would be a shame not to show it, so I'm gonna show that, but unfortunately I can't build any, um, you know, end credits off of that because it was destroyed. No tank to be seen up here, except for down here we can see one tank killing 154. And as we go through, yeah. Highest killer infantry, three infantry units, probably from the first army. As we can see, two, 22 and 6 remaining. Um, could be part of, uh, definitely one of these, I imagine. Um... But yeah, there we have it. Victory. A very costly one, but victory nonetheless. And uh, human waves. Yeah, that's definitely the tactic we used for this battle. Single cannon survives here. We've got a little bit of troops still in the port. Definitely need reinforcements here, but I need reinforcements like directly to come in so I'm just gonna get 
five units of reserve for next turn to join in these guys as they take on the town. Um, don't really need it, but I, g I just f it's going to be a little bit more comfortable doing the battle with those extra bodies. Uh, we're going to also send in the cavalry here, which I probably should have done from the start. But yeah, heavy battle indeed. So yeah, I'm before the end credits here. I'm going to roll another section of the battle that I did just did but the one part of cra the one for the first attempt that crashed and then we're gonna have the end credits so it's probably a pretty long video but I think that you're gonna like it anyways with all of that said it's time to end the video so I say as I always say hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye Oops. forward into a charge okay here Go ahead and fire your flames. Oh, well, the cavalry is called into a charge. Oh. They're called into a charge against the flamethroopers. But as they do, there's nothing left. The unit was destroyed. We've got tons of troops coming in here, though. I'm going to have to pull back my infantry a little bit, or reorganize them to face that. I'm going to push this one forward. Ah, oh, shit. That's a lot of cavalry. Reposition yourself quickly. I'm going to need coordinated strikes. Heavy artillery does actually reach this area. No, not my flame troops. Whoa. No, 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 no. Leave them alone. Hold your position and open fire immediately. We've got big, big Bolshevik attack of cavalry storming our front lines. We got. Oh no, the enemy reinforcements coming in! He's going for my tanks! Oh no, the. the enemy's charging over here! What a battle! What a battle, ladies and gentlemen! What a battle! Let's go ahead and burn some people! Burn them! Burn them all! Mackinson's troops. Slowly trickling in here. Right, we need you to move as fast as possible towards this side of the map. We're getting overrun. Reman the tanks. I don't know what's going on here. Cavalry charges. Tank crews. Flames. It's an absolute mess. The two infantry units were broken. We have a single crewman left here. We have seven. Still ready to man the tanks. We got massive explosions going on here. We still have a little bit of a melee fight going on over here. As 29 soldiers of the 24th are taking out the Red Army riflemen. Uh, we need Mackenzie's heavy artillery to aid here and blast some of these enemy units. Looks like all these tanks are slowly but surely getting destroyed by the enemy. Really, it is the cavalry that is the main problem. The flamethrowers are still alive. Can you turn against these Red Army rifle units? We're holding on. One of the tanks over here Getting overrun by the enemy general. A very brave Bolshevik commander to send his uh, send himself into harm's way like that. We got the general's uh, unit of this army. Uh, I'll tell Mackenzie's troops to start running here. They'll be tired, but the main army is going to be. Uh, 
or the main attacking army is going to be dead if we don't do anything. Heroic fight put up here by the flame unit. Destroying everything in its way. At the, at the same time as the rest of this army. You're out of shot? Shit. Right, try to get out. Uh, can you still mana tank? Where are you? Retreat. We still have something over here. We have a single tank functioning. The Soviets launched their cavalry charges, stuck grenades down at the uh, tracks. We've got... Oh, this one looks pretty darn dented. Oh, the side of it came off. A unit was destroyed. Let's see, we've got troops coming this way. Set up to uh, shoot them. We have a single tank limping away. But here come Mackinson and his troops. Ready to take part in the battle. Let's hold fire for the machine guns for now. Let's have the tank limp up onto the hill. Stand and fight. I need everyone to stand. Oh, here we got another tank that's actually holding on. Bolshevik cavalry being burned. It's going to be interesting to see how many troops the flame unit has been able to kill. Soldiers, as much as possible, try to pull back towards this hill. Where we're awaiting Mackensen's army. They're being stopped by one Red Army rifles in the woods. We can't wait for that one. Charge through it. Charge it down. Everyone continue forward. The flame unit is holding the enemy at bay. But for how long? There's so many angry Bolsheviks coming this way. I need heavy artillery bombardment ahead of there right now. Flame units pull back. The single tank, it's just going to have to stand there and fight because there's, I can't do anything about it. Right, we've got melee fight going on there. Why have you not been able to... No matter, he's basically dead. So, continue. Troops continue forwards. The flame unit, seven men left. Ooh, you've got a chance to burn that entire thing. Well, that's the Black Infantry. The Black Infantry is still fighting with us. I'm surprised any units of the first arm, of the first army I sent in, is left, given uh, the kind of attack, the assault we came under. We're sending the troops through the woods here. Oh, I think we burned one of our own units to crisp there. All the Bolshevik troops going for their artillery. Something that I uh, wasn't able to get to at all. Is the f cavalry now finally going to kill off my flamethrowers? Or what's going on? I think it's t high time we started bombarding this position with our heavy artillery. Maybe you can actually push forward all the way to the house. Oh, we didn't completely destroy this guy. I want chargers and I want... Then I want these infantry units to move forward here. Flame unit will hold fire for now. The tank over here is set up. Wonderful. Uh, more troops all coming in. Alt. That's a bit much. Look at what I'm doing. I'm victory is just around the corner, I'd say. The 16th infantry is going to move inside here. 
Heavy artillery blasting around it. What a spectacular... I could not dream of such an ex ex spectacular battle as this. We might get the we flames the in on this. Okay, he's in the house now. The Bolsheviks are setting up all around. The artillery is not close enough to actually hit the house. And that's why I think I'm safe. Uh, bayonet fight continues there with no clear winner. This house has been turned to rubble. Where's my tank? Uh, can you roll forward a little bit? This unit needs to be killed. With flames. We still have four guys, three guys left. Should be able to do something. Oh, the house is being torn down. They are able to fire upon it. But it upsets the position here so much that I think it's worth it. There's basically no house left. It's 100% now. Single bullet will tear the house down and kill everyone inside. The worst thing would be if I accidentally hit it with my own uh, troops. Oh, yeah, there it went. The entire house went and uh, everyone within it died. Let's see. Flame unit is set up. Not just yet, but I'm going to set it up right there and it's going to flame through the side. And I think that's going to work out pretty well. More troops being drawn in. From uh, Mackinson.
men of the... Oh,